your first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Brad Travis. Now, air quality alert tomorrow, as Liz was talking about, and this is mainly ground level ozone. It's not really out of the ordinary to see this here in North Alabama, but usually we see it about a month from now when we get to kind of the dog days of summer moving in. It's temporary. Some of this is wildfire smoke. You can clearly see this here from Gunnersville on the breeze camera network. Temperatures have cooled off because of a frontal boundary, and that's what's kind of it, it hasn't been enough of a frontal boundary to clear us out, though, uh, from all this trapped uh, pollutants. We've got it out there. So again, limit your outdoor activities if you have respiratory issues or asthma, things like that, especially during the peak of the day. The only good news about tomorrow is that it's not going to be blistering hot. I mentioned that during the four o'clock newscast. Typically, when we have this kind of ozone level, the temperatures are in the mid 90s and there's just no escape from it. But tomorrow we will be in the low 80s again, and even some upper 70s. Showers and storms are close by, but they're going to pass us to the south and east just due to the upper level weather pattern here. And that's what's also bringing in a little bit of that smoke combined uh, with this low level ozone. Six o'clock tomorrow morning, a mix of sun and clouds. Temperatures right around 60 on average to start the day, but a really comfortable day up on the lake. Thames Ford Lake, 53 degrees there in Winchester. As we go through the rest of the morning, a stray shower down into Marion County, maybe even Phil Campbell. You may see a spotty shower or two, uh, but overall doubtful any of that's really going to reach the ground. It's so dry in the mid levels. As we continue on with your Friday, just after the lunch hour, it's close to 80 degrees. It's mostly sunny, but hazy. Again, limit your outdoor activity. Activities. If you have respiratory issues, keep your eye, keep an eye on your kids out there. They may, uh, if they start coughing, things like that, uh, you may want to get them inside. Here's your mowing forecast. And speaking of mowing, that contributes to the ozone. You want to do that early in the morning or late in the evening if you can. Uh, good weather for it, but uh, poor weather Sunday and Monday. As we get into Sunday, widespread showers and storms looking more and more likely uh, with every run of the model guidance. Now 70% chance for showers and storms Sunday, and that lingers into Monday, especially Monday morning. So here's a look at the noon hour Sunday. Scattered showers and thunderstorms. Really, no matter where you go, even down on the Gulf Coast, a few showers and storms there. But we'll kind of focus on our area here by 1 o'clock Sunday. Scattered showers and storms. Look how it just kind of converges right across North Alabama. This is going to be some really good news for two reasons. One, it's going to clean the atmosphere out. And two, many areas are starting to dry up. Even though we're not seeing signs of drought, this right here will keep us from going into a drier weather pattern. Soil moisture will get back to normal. So some good news for farmers and gardeners out there too. And if you're just trying to get some water on the lawn. 10 day forecast, 83 tomorrow, 87 Saturday. Then we fall back probably into the 70s by Sunday afternoon. Soccer going on again. They'll play as long as there's not lightning in the area. Scattered showers and storms should become just light rain, light to moderate rain showers late in the day. Monday rain early.